guys, Gavin Easy Review here. Today we've got the Chicka Vans Lows. Now these are a very sick pair of shoes. I would recommend this to everybody out there watching. They go good with anything that you want to wear. Jeans, skinny jeans, shorts, it'll all match. Now today we've got the black and gray quilt version. If you take a look, most of the upper is a nice suede. On the toe box here, we've got a nice black suede that's really Really, really nice material. It's really good quality. If you move over to the mid, there's a very good quality. That's it's a a quilt sort of wool material. Now this is something that I wasn't really looking to buy because it might will get really ruined in the when the weather whenever it's wet. But it was still a pretty sick shoe and uh, it looks still looks really well. If you look very close, there's a black stitching that's a little bit shiny, so it really stands out. The Vans logo here is a nice gold, which is I thought was a pretty cool aspect. On the back, the Vans logo is also in a gold. If we look more to the upper, the hole around the uh, the foot area is a nice suede. Even the uh, back clip that we have here. Also on the back, there's the nice wool uh, material. It's got a gray stitching all around. Um, along the whole upper, there's a, a nice black stitching and a little bit more detail around here there's a dark brown which uh, I think really goes well with the shoe really goes well with the design also around the toe uh, the uh, the tongue the tongue is a suede which is also another really good aspect that I like of the shoe um, not a lot of the toes on Vans Chicas are suede which I thought was really cool if we go to the uh, the outsole it's just a nice plain white with the black outline uh, standard issue with Vans it's got the little dots along the uh, the bulk strap so I thought that's you know standard now on the sole we've got a nice orange color which will look really cool if you're uh, stepping up and someone will see the orange color uh, that's really cool on the insole as well there's a uh, an orange slip on the inside if you can see something else that was really interesting the, uh, the with the really padded tongue on the inside the Vans logo is also a gold with all the three Vans logos. Now uh, with these shoes you've got the two options of white and black. Now um, a little bit different is that recently with the Chicka Vans they've been starting to add wax laces to them which I don't know if you can see the difference is that there's a, it's a little bit shinier and it's a little bit harder. It doesn't roll as much as the white laces would as you can see those are natural stitched white laces. It um, It's a lot bendier and it's not as shiny. I feel like it doesn't look as cool but the white sticks out of the shoe a little bit better, which looks pretty nice. But honestly, I would go with the black. You know, if you want to do white, that's, you know, if that's your thing, then go for it. The eyelets on the shoe are a nice silver that stands out. So um, that was pretty cool. These shoes go for about $55. You can find them at any local skate shop, um, such as Zoomies or even Journeys. I would definitely recommend go out and buy a pair of these I have two pairs um, so yeah thanks guys uh, just so you can take a look this is the other pair of the Chicka Vans that I have these are the uh, classic gray and black versions now some simple details is that this got a whole suede upper the tongue is a nice puffy mesh if we go to the back the uh, clip here is a nice mesh material now the whole shoe is featured with a silver stitching which is a really cool aspect. The uh, the eyelets are a nice gold, and um, you've got the classic gum sole, white outsole. The uh, the Vans logo is a red. The insole is a red, and the back logo is a red. Now the two lace choices with these are black and white, simple as normal. Uh, these do not come with the wax laces, but I just thought that I should show you guys. Thanks.